Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face, with Face the Music Media. We are back again for another episode of How I Sent. In this video, we will be covering Roland's Jupiter 8. Let's get into it. So, Jupiter 8 is Roland's original synth, and basically it's a beefed up version of the Juno. So, let's just run through here really quick and uh, see what we can come up with with this good old Jupiter 8. So, if you've watched any of my other videos, you already know the first thing I like to do is to test out the natural pulse width modulation sound, which is the saw waves detuned slightly to give it that movement. So, let's go ahead and mess with that and see what it sounds like. So, initially, we have to go ahead and activate oscillator 2 so let's go ahead and turn that up and let's go to 50 percent like the other one perfect so we're on the saw wave and let's go ahead and boost this fine tune slowly and see what it sounds like loving that already okay so next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and mess with this envelope because i want a little tell on that let's see what it sounds like nice okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and see what the pulse with modulation sounds like in this plug-in so i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to pulse with modulation pulse with modulation and basically to activate the pulse with modulation, you could do it manually here. So let's take a listen to that first and then we'll route it out to the LFO. Perfect. So let's go ahead and now route that to the LFO. I'm going to take this to LFO. I'm going to go to Tempo Sync here. And I'm going to set that to one fourth. Nice, that sounds really good actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow that down a little bit and see what that sounds like really quick. Nice, I'm loving that. So if you take a look here, I've got the filter cutoff resonance, the filters envelope modulator, and the LFO modulator for the filter all routed out here to my MIDI controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. It's just a lot smoother than doing it with the mouse. I love that. That's the one thing I love about Pulse with Modulation. You could get a lot of texture and a lot of the harmonics of the synth come out when you boost the resonance and then kind of sweep through. You can get some really nice tones out of that. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on. I've got a chord that I've played in the background. Let's go ahead and mess around with some more settings on the Pulse with. I'm gonna mess around with the speed and kind of see what it sounds like. Thank you. 
I'm loving that. That sounds amazing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up a little bit and I'm going to take the LFO shape to random one. And there's something that I love about the random LFO shape, but I'm going to go ahead and boost that speed up to about, let's do one eighth. And let's see what that sounds like. So I'm going to adjust this envelope just a little bit and I'm going to take the decay up, sustain down, release up a little bit. Let's do the same over here. And uh, so the thing that I love to do with the LFO movement like that is I like to add delay and reverb. So let's go ahead and add some delay and reverb. Let's go with pan delay. See what that sounds like really quick. Loving that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the reverb and see what that sounds like. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and mess with some of the other reverb settings. See what they sound like really quick. Nice. I think I like Hall 1 the best. I'm going to roll with that one. Turn it down a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like really quick. Beautiful. Now I do notice with this plugin, it does take a lot of CPU. So with the screen recorder going in the background, I've got UAD console going in the background. Also with my recorder settings, it's causing a couple pops and stuff. So if you hear that, just, you know, know that this plugin does take a lot and it has options to lower the voices and go into low CPU usage mode. And I'm doing that. So even with those modes, it's still using a lot of CPU, but 
nonetheless, it does sound good. So I'm not mad at it. When I don't have the screen recorder going, it doesn't do it as much. So I'm going to give them a pass on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with some of these controls on my MIDI controller. And just jam out, man. Nice. Yo, that's the end of this video, man. Look, if you got any value out of this video, like this video, comment on this video. Let me know what you think about the Jupiter 8 plugin. I think it sounds amazing and it's not so complicated to where you can't figure it out, but it has enough functionality to get some really dope sounds. It's got a lot of nice effects. I like the sound of it. I think it's a little bit CPU intensive. I think they need to go back in and figure out how they can kind of dumb that down a little bit. But other than that, I love this plugin a lot. I love how creamy the filter sound. The filter sound really nice and smooth. Unlike Arturia's, like if you look at the Arturia Jupiter plugin and the Arturia Juno plugin, if you watch my Juno video, go ahead and click on that link to watch that video. I show you how steppy the filters are. So when you sweep through the filters, you can literally hear it step from note to note to note to note to note with the rolling plugins it's smooth it's like butter it just sweeps right through you don't hear any steppiness and it sounds more like analog in my opinion i love the envelopes i love the options so overall i love this plugin a lot i would say go ahead and check it out you get a free 30 day trial with the rolling cloud so go check that out they have a lot of plugins that you can check out so go ahead and do that again this is that guy face of face music media go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed we got a lot of videos coming go ahead and hit the thumbs up like this video and go ahead and check out some of the other videos in our library man we got a nice little library we're building up with these synth reviews and we got so many more coming so you don't want to miss out again this is that guy face with face music media we out of here